Cuba has been an important trading hub since the first European explorers arrived here at the end of the 15th century. These to defend the Spanish galleons laden with treasure from the marauding English and Dutch pirates that sailed these seas. With monster-sized container ships soon to be passing this way, to and from the Panama Canal, the government is hoping that Cuba can again become a major trading hub. Cuba. Cuba is in the middle of all points north, south, east and west of the international maritime routes, so this will be a port that will take cargo traffic from the rest of the world. It's being built with $680 million of Brazilian credit and will be administered by a Singaporean company. Cuba hopes that generous tax and customs breaks will attract foreign investment to the 465 square kilometre zone and radically change this sleepy town. There's plenty of movement here already, but this is nothing to how things will be when this is finished. At least four times bigger, four times more busy. Mariel has everything going for it, and there's a great sense here of a bright future. There are, however, some obstacles, a reticence towards major commercial projects and the five decade long US embargo, the Cubans call it a blockade, imposed to make the government change its politics. They will continue to try to scare off those countries trying to invest in Cuba. The U.S. Treasury Department has already applied fines of more than $12 billion under the administration of Nobel Peace Prize winner Barack Obama, exactly the same behavior as previous U.S. governments towards Cuba. The Cubans say investors are not being put off. A natural harbour with deep water access and plenty of land on which to grow in a prime geographical location, they believe is simply too good an opportunity to miss. Daniel Schwein, Al Jazeera, Mariel, Cuba.